Hey guys, every game here, back with a new video, and in today's video, I am back with another video, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to download Black Ops 2 Plutonium for PC. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is once you're on the website, you want to click download, and now we'll take you to this page here on how to install Plutonium. Okay, so one of the first things that I recommend to do is you want to scroll down and you want to make an account, which I'll just open up in a new tab, and there you go, pretty much it will take you to this page here. You just want to register with your email address, username, and your password. It's pretty easy to do. It literally doesn't even take like 5 minutes. So once you've made an account, what you want to do is you want to install the launcher. I'm going to click download. And now it's start downloading. Now, once it's downloaded, what you want to do is you want to open up the launcher. Now, for me, since I've had Plutonium before, it will automatically open up for me. But, for you guys, if it's your first time installing it, it will come up with the Windows protected your PC. What you want to do is going to click More Info and click Run Anyway, and now it will load up. Now, here's where the username and password comes into play. Now, just for me, I'm just going to log in. And there we go, I'm now logged in. Okay, so the next thing you want to do now is want to set up the game. So for me, I am going to be doing Black Ops 2. Now for me, it says play because I've already had Black Ops 2 Plutonium before installed. But for you, it will say set up. So you want to scroll down a little bit. So pretty much what you do now is you just want to go to my PC and you want to create a new folder called games. Or in my case, I'm going to be creating a folder called BO2. So you just want to go to this PC. New and then new folder. So there we go, I've named it BO2. Okay, so once you've created your folder on your computer, what you want to do next is you want to download the torrent software and also the torrent file. So I'm just going to use the one that is recommended by the website itself. So you want to download this one here. And there we go, start downloading. And now the next thing you want to download is also the torrent file itself for Black Ops 2 Plutonium. Also, these steps do show you how to do it as well. So, what you want to do now is you want to click on the torrent software, want to open it. Want to click OK. Next. I agree. Next. Next. And install. And there we go. Want to click finish. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we want to go into your torrent software, and then you want to click File, Add Torrent File, click Plutonium T6 Full Game, you want to click Open, and now save that. You want to click Browse, you want to click this PC, and you want to choose where you saved it. So mine will be on the BO2 folder. Select, and now what you want to do is once you've saved it, the folder you want to save it in. I'm going to click OK, and now we'll start its download process. Okay, so once your download is completed, what you want to do is want to click Delete, click OK. Okay, so once your torrent file is finished downloading, when you go back into Plutonium, you want to click on T6 Multiplayer, you want to click Game Settings, you want to click Select, and now you want to go to this PC, and now you want to find the folder that you made at the start of the tutorial. So for me, it's BO2. I'm going to click on it, and you want to select this one here. And now what you do is you want to press play. And there we go, we have officially launched Black Ops 2 Plutonium. Okay, so the first thing I recommend that you do, once you first launch Black Ops 2 Plutonium and logged in and everything, you want to click the little squiggly line underneath your escape key on your keyboard, and now you want to type in unlock all. And there you go. And there you go, I am officially Prestige Master, so if I go into rank, go into create a class, and just go to any class. As you see, I've now got all the guns and everything. 
all the attachments. And also I've got all the camos as well. Also you can use a controller on Plutonium as well. So for me, I've just plugged in my Xbox One controller using the USB cable that I've got with it. Turned it on and there we go, I can now use it. So to find a game, what you need to do is you need to go to server browser and it will come up with all the servers that are currently available. And here are all the servers that are currently available. Um, let's just pick, let's just pick this one here. So once you find the server that you want to play on, all you want to do is just double click on it and it will load up. And there we go. And there we go. As you guys see, I'm now in the game. As you guys can see, I've got like 300 ping, so you know, yeah. Oh, I got a kill. Oh, I got a sniper kill. Wonder if I can get a rocket launcher kill. Yep. That's, that's a bit dog, not gonna lie. Oh, got double kill at least. Oh, that would have been such a good no scope. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, please give the video a like and subscribe to new videos every single week. And don't forget to turn notifications to get notified when up in the future. If you guys do have any issues, Feel free to comment down below and I'll help you as much as I can. And also, Plutonium do have a Discord dedicated to areas and all that type of stuff. And I would definitely recommend checking them out as well. I'm Remember Gaming, and I'm out. See you guys in the next one.